Hello, this is Vic. Welcome to my channel and thank you for viewing my videos. Today I'm in the beautiful Italian capital of Rome and I'm in the Vatican. Now I'm inside St. Peter's Basilica. This is Italy's largest, richest and by far the most spectacular church. So for the next few video clips I'm going to take you on a tour. I'm going to show you the most important sites and pieces of art inside this magnificent cathedral. I will describe them to you and at the end I'm going to include some video clips from last night. I came here and the crowds were non-existent for once and I was able to videotape under the lights. So I will include both sets of uh, video clips you're going to like it. Now there used to be a Byzantine church right here uh, where the basilica is uh, located today. It was built by Constantine, the uh, Roman Emperor in 349 AD. Now over the years it fell apart and work started to build a basilica in around 1500. Now the basilica was finished at about 1620 and a lot of uh, things have been added to it like the front that we're going to see at the very end. It is absolutely magnificent. We're going to see the high altar which is built right above the uh, place where St. Peter is buried. And by the way, this is why Constantine chose this place to build the Byzantine church originally because this is the place where St. Peter was buried. So joining me for the next few clips, you're going to like it. This is an absolutely magnificent place to visit at least once in a lifetime. Bye bye. And uh, here is a view of the Basilica. Once you enter, the entrance is right behind me. And this is how huge how magnificent it is. Right there in the middle of the frame you can see the dome, Michelangelo's design dome. We're gonna get there in a few minutes. But I want you to get an idea of how huge it is. As I said in my introduction, this is Italy's by far largest church. Also, you can see how lavishly decorated it is. So let's go around, let's look at some of the most important statues and pieces of art. And let's start with Michelangelo's 1499 statue of Virgin Mary and Jesus. Let's go. Now, as soon as you enter the Basilica on the right, you will see Michelangelo's Pietà. This is a remarkable piece of art created by uh, a young Michelangelo. He was about 25 years old in 1499, right there. It shows a very young Virgin Mary holding uh, Jesus on her lap. It is signed by Michelangelo on uh, the clothing the Virgin Mary is wearing. Let's get a better view right there. And uh, here's the view of the right nave. Right there. And uh, here you can see Capella di San Sebastiano. This is the tomb of uh, the former Pope, John Paul II. Right there, right in the middle of the frame. Now, when I came to the Vatican a few years ago, his tomb was under the Basilica. But uh, he's been recently canonized, which means he's been as designated as a saint. So his body has moved up here in the Basilica, but let's view it right there. And here's another view.
Now what you see here is Carlo Fontana's monument to Queen Christina of Sweden. Now Queen Christina of Sweden abdicated her throne to become a Catholic in 1655 and she is one of three women buried here at St. Peter's Basilica. And this is her tomb here and the monument built by Carlo Fontana, right there. And uh, here's a statue of Saint Peter. This is a 13th century statue, bronze statue. Now, if you look very carefully, you see his right foot is worn out from uh, centuries of uh, people caressing his, uh, his foot. Now, that section is closed off for now. I'm videotaping this from a distance, but I will include another, at the end of this uh, documentary, another video clip from last night. Now, there are three absolutely remarkable pieces of art that one shouldn't miss when visiting the Basilica of St. Peter. One is uh, Michelangelo's statue that you saw in the very beginning. The second is right here. This is the canopy by Bernini. These are four spiral columns that you see there. And they are bronze. Now the uh, bronze here was taken from the Pantheon. The Pantheon was covered by uh, bronze tiles on the roof and they were all taken and melted in order to create this uh, beautiful canopy. Now this is the high altar. This is where the Pope is allowed, only the Pope is allowed to officiate from uh, from the high altar and right below there where the candles are is where St. Peter is buried. Now I was here last night and uh, this place was uh, open so you will see a, uh, a review of this uh, canopy and the high altar from much much closer. But This is what it looks like from about 10 meters away. You're looking at the uh, dome of the Basilica and this is Michelangelo's greatest architectural achievement. He took over the design of the building of the dome in uh, when he was 72 years old in 1547 and unfortunately he was not alive when it was completed in 1590. It is uh, 44 meters in diameter, and that's about a meter and a half smaller than the huge dome of the Pantheon. And it is supported by four huge columns. You'll see one right there. And the high altar I just showed you, right there, points directly to the center of the dome. Perfect. I am uh, back on the main nave, so let's take a good look of the ceiling. I said this is the largest church in Italy and if you were to ask me well, well how large is it I'm standing on the uh, central nave and the distance between the front entrance to the back of the church is 186 meters now it is built in the shape of a Greek cross so the two arms of the cross so to speak would measure 137 meters so the distance, the size of this church is 186 by 137 meters. It is absolutely incredible. It is huge. It's spectacular. And uh, here is a monument to Pope Pius VIII. 
right there. Well, they have turned the lights on behind the, uh, the canopy and the behind the high altar, so now we can get a better view of what I was describing to you just a few seconds ago. You can see how beautiful, how spectacular it is. I can imagine uh, throughout the centuries since this basilica was built, how many popes have presided over a mass here at the high altar. Now right behind Bernini's canopy, right there, right in the middle of the frame, you can see Bernini's masterpiece, the throne of St. Peter. You can see the throne right there in the middle of the frame. There are four saints around the throne. There are golden angels and the Holy Spirit right there in the middle of it. Right there. You know, it is uh, really a very unique experience and a great privilege and honor to be able to be inside this magnificent basilica here in Rome. This is my fifth time at St. Peter's and uh, as soon as I get to Rome, this is the first place I visit. Let's continue our tour. Now, there are so many monuments and tombs of uh, previous popes here inside the basilica. It will take us forever to videotape each one of them and to identify each one of them and to tell you uh, a little bit about their history. So what I have done, I videotaped the most uh, important ones and I'm going to show them to you all together right now. Enjoy.
Now, as soon as you enter the uh, basilica, the, uh, the entrance is right behind me. You will see this huge purple disc. It's marble. It's about three meters in diameter. Right here. It's uh, just to give you an idea or a perspective exactly where I am. If I was to move over to the left and raise the camera, you will see the main nave and Bernini's canopy that I will describe to you later on. But this is the... Uh, let's go back again. This is the disc right here. This is the spot where the popes would crown the Holy Roman Emperors. Now I need to emphasize as a uh, Byzantine Empire historian, no Byzantine Emperor was ever crowned by a Pope at this spot. These are the Holy Roman Emperors. This is from the times of Charlemagne and later. This is a very curious historical fact and sight inside this magnificent cathedral right there. Now I am inside the grand atrium of uh, the basilica. This is the space that you would enter before you enter the main part of the basilica. The entrance is to my right. I'm going to show you a quick uh, view of this beautiful space but I want to tell you a couple of things about the front. The front was built between 1608 and 1612. It's about 118 meters long it's supported by eight Corinthian columns that are 27 meters high and on top there are 13 statues, 11 apostles, Christ and John the Baptist and uh, it, it is also 48 meters wide. It is absolutely spectacular. What you're going to see here are a few views uh, beautifully lit at night. I hope you enjoy it. Bye bye.